Hello, hello, it's Kate with Heart and Gardening. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, I thought I would bring you along today for some garlic planting. I am last minute. So, so if you've been following my YouTube for a while now, you will know that I had a whole garlic fiasco this year. I planted last November, um, I had a really rich mushroom compost, which I think was the reason I got super leafy growth and I started experimenting with kind of like pulling them in like March just to see what they were doing and they weren't really doing anything. They were not bulbing. So when I didn't see any bulbing and just a really thick stalk that kind of bulbed out a little at the bottom, um, I pulled them up insane. We will now never know if my garlic would have actually bulbed if I left it alone or if it really was a soil issue. So here we are again a year later another November late November. Today is the 21st. I'm pretty late. I went store to store looking for garlic organic because that has um, usually no growth inhibitor sprayed on it. Um, a lot of our vegetables and fruits that you see in the supermarket have chickens, I think that's their debut, <laughs> um, have a, a growth inhibitor sprayed on them so that they won't sprout um, things like potatoes and garlic as well. So you want organic. Um, I've heard of people growing with normal, not organic um, garlic and it actually bulbing and doing just fine. Um, I had a viewer friend on Instagram send me some because I couldn't find any after running to some stores and then I checked one last store and found some. Now these are going to be very small. These are um, by Spice World. It doesn't say what kind they are. Just certified organic. And uh they're gonna be pretty small. These ones that my friend sent are a little bit bigger. And um, again, there's no specialty on these, so these aren't gonna be anything like super fascinating. Um, I hated to, with my garlic failing last year, I hated to spend a bunch of money on buying garlic and special varieties and then me really ended up having, you know, if I end up having a soil problem, then I would have wasted a bunch of money. So the ones she sent me were a little bit bigger, which is nice, but um, we're going to get these in the ground today. It is gorgeous fall weather, and uh, I'll take you guys along. I am still actually sitting here contemplating whether I want to do this in grow bags or give it garden space. And I'm, I'm honestly leaning towards grow bags. Let me think for another second. You know I don't like plan things out on my videos. Like this is always on the fly. Like things are always changing. So my thoughts are either planting it right here by Alejandro the artichoke in this area. Leave a good little space because I plan on doing another round of cucumbers right here and putting them up the trellis that we have. But these bulbs are so the cloves will be so small and the bulbs will be so small as I could probably fit a bunch right here and like around Alejandro. Um, obviously I need to weed and finish up clearing out some of these peppers. I do want this to be a full pepper bed though so I'm just contemplating like would I rather have peppers right here or just you know start the peppers because I'm going to have a lot more peppers next year. Um, but I do want to grow some peppers in grow bags to control some things next year, so maybe I will. So we're going to clear this out, um, right now. We just stepped in that dog poop. Yay! What you doing, ladies? Hi! Are you coming to watch me work? Gosh, it stinks so bad where I stepped in that dog poop. Hold on, these ladies need treats. Snipping some arugula, it's their favorite. You want 
want a treat, ladies? Okay, so I went ahead, broke apart all the garlic, dug the holes, and have started putting them in there. When you plant garlic, you want to make sure that you plant it the right side up. So if I can't, but I'll just focus. Okay, that flat part is the bottom, and this is obviously is the pointy end, and that's the part you want sticking up. Pointy end up, and about two inches into the ground. So I'm going to cover these. I decided to do the majority of them right here in this spot next to the artichoke and then I also did a grow bag and another grow bag. So there was 41 or 42 total. Uh, I'm going to cover them now. Alright, and now I'm just going to mulch them with some dead leaves from the yard. Very simple. Grab it and throw the green stuff in there too, but that'll be okay. Okay, garlic is all mulched and I'm actually going to overwinter Alejandro. Now, I haven't ever done this, so I'm kind of scared but I think it'll be okay. What you're gonna do is cut it at the base and then I'm gonna mulch him as well. Um, his leaves might stay green completely through um, the winter. I mean, we've had a hard freeze and I took off some deader looking ones, but I mean, he looks pretty good for the most part. I just don't want him to block out any sun from the garlic because um, I planted some pretty close to him. And I'd rather everybody kind of come up at the same time in the spring than him be shooting up higher than the rest of the garlic. So I'm going to chop Alejandro. <laughs> Poor Alejandro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope you grow back, Alejandro. <laughs> my voice is cracking. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm going to go get some more leaves so I can mulch him. Oh my gosh. Alejandro, Alejandro. All right guys, Alejandro's overwintered as well. Sleep tight everybody. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me today as we planted garlic and killed off, no, hopefully not killed off, but overwintered Alejandro, the artichoke. He'll be fine, it'll be okay. Um, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate that so much. Like this video. Have you ever grown artichokes? Because I feel like that's not that common of a thing. And how many of you guys are growing garlic this year? How many of y'all have been successful with garlic in the past? That's the real question. Kate can't say yes. <laughs> I will catch you guys on the next video. See you later.